Hi, in this quick video we'll take a look at how you can share folders between your AWS EC2 instance and your local machine and this uh, greatly enhances our productivity when we are working with uh, instances that are running on AWS. Uh, the same technique can be used uh, practically for any remote server that you can access over SSH. However, in this video, we'll focus on using AWS. Now, there are four steps. Uh, we have um, uh, step one that's about installing a tool called SSHFS as a client tool. And uh, the next step is to set up folders, both remote folders and local folders for us to share and sync. And then finally, uh, let's actually run the SSHFS uh, and an optional step, which is to unmount the folder uh, once you're done with it. Uh, so that's the four steps involved. Uh, so let's get started. Starting off, uh, the first step is to install SSHFS uh, on an Ubuntu machine. You can use apt-get to uh, install SSHFS, or if you're on a Mac OS, you can use brew. Uh, I've already installed SSHFS, so I'm not going to run this command, but uh, I'll leave uh, all these commands in the description of the video for you to use um, uh, at your disposal. Now, the next step is to set up folders. We need to set up a remote folder on AWS and another folder on the local machine. So uh, first step, let's uh, connect to the AWS machine. So if you go to your AWS web console, you should be able to find your IP or DNS name of your server and use your key file. First time I'm accessing it, so yes, hit yes. Uh, all right, so we should be logged in uh, into the remote uh, EC2 instance. So let's uh, make um, uh, a remote folder. So on the AWS side, I'm going to call that uh, folder. So uh, again, you can call it anything you want, um, but I, I just picked this up. So share. Um, and then on the local folder, uh, let's just um, create another folder here. So again, this is a a name I'm calling it. All right. Uh, oops, uh, that was the wrong one. So RM AWS share. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's a directory. Uh, ignore this one step. But that was a copy paste mistake. So let me copy it correctly this time around. Yeah. Uh, don't want to call both the remote and the local the same name. It's just confusing. So see local host. Okay. All right. So now we have uh, a remote uh, uh, folder name and a local folder. And now comes the magic of tying it all together using SSHFS. Uh, so uh, again, the, um, the command here is SSHFS, uh, same username at the server which you use to log into SSH, but um, post that it's um, the folder on the remote side, followed by the folder name on the local machine. Uh, again, highly recommend that you don't use uh, the tilde to indicate uh, the user's uh, home folder. Uh, do put in the full path uh, on both the remote and the local, followed by the identity file that you use to log into SSH, followed by a few other parameters. Now, keep in mind that there are a few other parameters which might come in handy uh, for things like performance, um, but uh, we're going to skip through much of that in the interest of time. All right, so let's see if it's all wired up together. Local. Let's create a file locally. Let's see if it's synced up. Yes. It's synced up, so I've just created a file on my local machine, and you could see that it's come up uh, on AWS. And uh, let's do it the other way around. Uh, touch um, D uh, from AWS, um, and let's see if it's uh, synced up here. So brilliant. Uh, we have uh, files that we can write uh, or synchronize between uh, the local host and uh, AWS. Uh, the other thing we can do is let's uh, maybe edit a file. So I'm going to use uh, Sublime for this. Um, okay, no, cancel. Let me close that. We just need one instance. Uh, so here we have a local file, which is um, uh, I'm going to edit that. And let's just uh, w cat that A. As you can see, it's got nothing in there. So let's add a 
watch to that with a default of two seconds. So anytime we update this, uh, it should reflect here. So this is um, just showing you the convenience of um, making uh, edits locally. So let's say one, two, three, and now I'm going to hit save. And hopefully it should uh, come up here. So you'll notice that it's uh, come up remotely, say four, five, six, oops, uh, five, six, seven, and hit save again, and you can see that it um, it uh, it does update in real time. So again, it's a good convenience to have uh, that we can edit files locally using editors of our choice, and it gets uh, synchronized with uh, AWS. Uh, so that covers uh, the main steps uh, or the main part of the video. The last thing we would want to do is, uh, again, it's purely optional, uh, just to keep things clean. Um, if you want to unmount um, that folder and unmount that synchronization, so let me close this. Uh, oops, uh, not that. Uh, I wanted to close this guy here. And let me close that. Exit from that and get out of this folder. And the last thing we will do is unmount. That's mount here and paste that there. So basically what it's doing is it's unmounted the folder that we were using uh, to synchronize. So it's just a bit of house cleaning. Uh, so that wraps it up for this quick video to show you how you can uh, connect uh, your remote AWS folders and synchronize that with your local machine. Uh, again, it's meant for ease of use and productivity. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks for watching.